Was that through a stomach or meal? Never mind that. In this episode, we learned to order breakfast in a restaurant. Vamanos. Hola y bienvenido a otro episodio de 30 for 30. We're talking about 30 Spanish classes in 30 days. Glad you pulled up a seat. Damas y caballeros, aquí tenemos best way to order food. This is the breakfast edition in Espanol. Nuestras comidas, our meals that we're referring to, we've got el desayuno. Repita, por favor, el desayuno. Y aquí tenemos el almuerzo, el almuerzo. Y también tenemos la cena. En este episodio estamos hablando de pedir el desayuno u ordenar el desayuno. How, what? First of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. We're talking about asking for or ordering breakfast. And be sure to stick around to the end where I give you a bonus question and a phrase that you can use in this type of situation. Ahora. Agarra tu cuaderno y tu pluma, and let's jump right in. Damas y caballeros, aquí tenemos paso número uno. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have step number one. What is step number one? We are talking about the greeting. You are rolling up to the door al restaurante. You're rolling up to the door at the restaurant here. Make sure you're getting these palabras de vocabulario. You're getting these vocab words here. La mesa is the first one. La mesa. Esta es una mesa. This is a table, right? So la mesa. You're going to need that word momentarily here. The hostess meets you at the door. She's going to give you un saludo. Y la pregunta, ¿cuántas personas? A greeting and the question, how many people? Hola, buenos días, because we're talking about el desayuno, right? She's going to hit you with, hola, buenos días, ¿cuántas personas? This is now your time to shine. You hit her with una mesa, vocab word, palabra de vocabulario, vocab word, right? Una mesa para dos personas o una mesa para cinco personas. All right, whatever your number is, you can put the fingers up to give her the amount if you need to. Una mesa para dos personas if you can't think of your numbers. But hopefully you don't have that many people with you going to dinner. Okay, damas y caballeros, aquí tenemos paso número dos. We've got step number two. All right, step number two is the approach. We are rolling into the restaurant, going to the mesa, right? Mesa. Y esta persona... Es el mesero, the waiter or the server, right? So, in scene two, the waiter or the waitress or the server, la mesera, if it's a woman, right? And you can see the word table in there a little bit, M-E-S, right? Kind of reminds us of the word table, all right? So, you can think of it like a table attendant. That's your server. And anyways, la mesera es va a decir, she's going to say, quiere o desea algo de tomar? Would you like something to drink? Now, the biggest thing is this. When you are hearing this Spanish, you want to make sure you listen to the last portion of this question because it is the key to signify, I need to talk about something to drink. So, la pregunta, entonces la pregunta es, ¿Quiere o desea algo de tomar? All right. Would you like something to drink? Would you like something to drink or what do you want to drink? It's the same concept. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos de las bebidas. Now, we're not going to do a whole lot of vocab here, but I am giving you some insight as to some of the things that you might see in el menú, right? I know you wrote that word down, el menú, the menu. You just simply go to your menu and you're going to look under bebidas, right? Drinks. Y aquí tenemos el jugo, right? El agua, el refresco. La leche, la limonada, el café. De nuevo, el jugo, repita por favor, el jugo, el agua, el refresco, la leche, la limonada, el café. I also want you to pay attention to some things that we're getting ready to do in this next slide. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how ironic this is, but literally as I am recording this video, I am very hungry. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's got something to do with this actual video here, but hey, whatever. All right, so your response, once she comes to the table to ask you what you would like to drink, you respond, tu vas a decir, para mí, quisiera un blank, or para mí, quisiera una blank. 
Let's take a look at some examples. Para mí quisiera una limonada. Para mí quisiera un jugo. Para mí quisiera una leche. Para mí quisiera un agua o quisiera una botella de agua. I want to make sure you understand you can ask for a water or a bottle of water. Botella. All right? You might know that song. Pásame la botella. You might know that song. I don't know. It's popular on cruises and things like that. Otro ejemplo. Para mí quisiera un refresco. Para mí quisiera un café. So those, those are our options, right? The biggest thing is you don't necessarily need to remember the items, the names of the items, because you have a menu. The biggest thing is, is you want to remember the questions and the phrases that you need to utilize. And then you're just going to insert message. la palabra de vocabulario, the type of item, the vocab word. Okay, so she's brought your drinks to the table, la mesera. You've had a chance to look at el menu. She hits you with the question, ¿Están listos para ordenar o están listos para pedir? Are you all ready to order? All right. The biggest thing that you want to remember is the question, ¿Están listos? Are you all ready? Your response, sí, estamos listos. All right. Yes, we're ready. O podemos decir, no, no estamos listos. All right. And the biggest thing is we want to make sure we understand that Let's make this a little bigger as we continue through here. No, no estamos listos, right? So the yes or no question, are you all ready? No, that's the first no, because some people might not understand why we have two no's here. The first no answers a yes or no question. The second no is making our verb negative, okay? So if we flip back just for a second here, you look at, si, sí, estamos listos, right? Yes, we are ready. Notice we're in an affirmative state when we answered her question. Pero aquí tenemos no, no estamos listos, right? No, we are not ready, all right? So you can respond to her question, ¿están listos? No, no estamos listos. And you can also tag it with this. Deme cinco minutos, por favor. Give me five minutes. And you can always add in por favor at the end if you choose to. So five minutes has elapsed. The waitress comes back. La mesera regresa a tu mesa. Y ella va a decir, ¿y ahora? ¿Están listos? All right. So, and now, are you ready? You hit her with one of those answers. Sí, estamos listos. Oh, no, no estamos listos. But if you are ready, you're going to respond. Hey, tú vas a responder con esta oración o esta frase. Quisiera una pizza. Quisiera una hamburguesa. Quisiera un taco, o quisiera los tacos, quisiera dos tacos, whatever you're ordering. Y las habichuelas, y los frijoles negros, whatever it else that's on the menu. It's not important about the foods as much as it is about having this phrase. You can input the food as you go along. Message. Vamos a continuar aquí, damas y caballeros, with her response when she brings your food to the table. Buen provecho, señores. O provecho, señores. Either way, she's telling you to enjoy your meal. You just simply hit her with gracias and you are good to go. Okay, you've eaten all the food. You've put it down in this restaurant, whatever restaurant you're at. El restaurante, right? Another vocab word, el restaurante. Your mesera dice... Your waitress says, algo más, anything else. At this point, it is up to you. I would like a blank or no, nada más, okay? So, quisi quisiera una cerveza, por favor. O quisiera un agua, por favor. O quisiera una leche. Whatever it is that you're eating for breakfast here, you can add that in if you have some extra things. But if she says algo más and you know you don't need anything else, you just say, no, nada más, gracias. All right. No, nothing else. Thank you. Okay. Now, you know you're done. You've talked it up with the people at your table. You all are ready to go, right? You know who I'm talking about. Wanda, right? From In Living Color, if you've ever seen that before. And I'm ready to go. La cuenta, por favor. La cuenta, por favor. The bill, please, or the check, please. Because if you know, if you've ever been to a Spanish-speaking country or you've been to Spain, you might sit around forever. 
Like, when are they going to bring me la cuenta? You have to literally ask them to. Otherwise, they'll let you chill all day long. All right. Tenemos the bonus question plus the phrase that we've been waiting on. I'm going to bring it home to you right here. The first one is, ¿Tienes hambre? Es la pregunta. Es the question. ¿Tienes hambre? ¿Tienes hambre? Sí, tengo hambre. Or sí, tengo mucha hambre. Okay, so are you hungry? Sí, tengo hambre. Yes, I'm hungry. Or sí, tengo mucha hambre. Yes, I'm very hungry. All right, so like now, I am starving. Para el desayuno. We're bringing it home right here. Let me know in the comment section below, damas y caballeros. ¿Qué quieres tomar? ¿Qué quieres tomar? Take a look back in the video here so you can remember if you, or look in your notes here. But I also want you to hit the comment section right here and answer this question. ¿Qué quieres tomar? Okay. ¿Qué quieres tomar? Para el desayuno. Depende. Si estás en vacaciones, está bien. So if you're on vacation, there's a large amount of items that you can ask for to drink for breakfast. Hey, do you. Not my battle. All right, damas y caballeros. Also, we want to roll out this information for you. We do now have our merchandise available for you. Some of the items that you may see me wearing in videos, here are some of those items here. You can definitely click on the link in the description below as well. We have it for men, women, children, everybody. And we also have it in Portuguese if you are somebody that travels to Brazil or Portugal or Angola. And also to learn a great strategy for asking about items in a store, click on this next video where I'll show you what exactly to say and when to say it. Soy Profe Don Omar. Nos vemos.